So I would like to ask you about like how are we focusing on sustainability, which is the theme. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. You know, uh, the COP26 uh, put out a five-pronged strategy for sustainability. And if you look at the theme for the year, it's all about decarbonization and sustainability across the globe. Uh, in fact, ESG has become extremely important. Banks are looking at ESG even when you're when lending money. Uh, so fortunately, we're in an industry that's a little ahead of the curve, I would say, than other industries because, you know, we have been focusing on sustainability, on green uh, technology, green manufacturing, you know, whether it be renewable energy, uh, solar, etc. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, so I think that uh, this is a great opportunity for companies uh, or the country really to look at renewables, to look at, uh, uh, to, to, you know, to sort of lose your dependence on on uh, import of oil and gas, etc. So I feel that, uh, you know, we are working in the right direction. The push from the government is in the right direction. And uh, as an industry, again, you know, we have been working on sustainability for a, for a while. Some larger companies have been doing it. Now, I think across the board, we're going to have to do yes. it. We're going to have to manage our supply chain. And yes. the bigger tier one suppliers are going to have to manage the supply chain to make sure the entire supply chain is, is sustainable. And you're almost going to be forced to do this even from banks when they lend you money, etc., which has become extremely important. And, and I think it's the right direction to head it. So it's definitely going to give a good yeah. a push in the right direction to uh, to industry. So I will also supplement. Uh, we did map, uh, you know, the ACMA cluster programs that we have. Uh, we've helped something like 1,200 plants become world class, and uh, we've mapped. Uh, I don't recollect exit, but I'll give you the number. Uh, I'll check with my team here. We have a number on the kind of carbon saving that we have done, uh, and and we believe that uh, we can add another 25% uh, to, uh, you know, up it by 25% in the next two years. Uh, our cluster programs, uh, uh, one of them uh, is called zero defect and zero effect. Uh, and, and this cluster program is aimed at when so you when you produce there is no defect okay so the the cost and the energy and and, and the raw material that you sort of use and in, 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 in terms of once there's a defect you have to you know redo the whole thing so there's no redoing of it and therefore you save a lot uh, resources in that uh, and that apart zero uh, effect this is something really very good. Uh, I think eight to nine companies today are actually zero defect in the sense what comes out can straight fit into a machine. You have to just, I mean, just take it and just put it. So that is something really very interesting. We also run cluster programs that are called resource efficiency cluster programs. They map uh, your manufacturing lines and see where there is wastage happening. Okay, whether it is of raw materials, whether it is of uh, energy, uh, and, and and all of in goes. We actually measure uh, the losses that you're doing, uh, and eventually sort of you know it's a cost so it's in your interest to make all those processes so much leaner so much more resource efficient um, including you know water uh, because water is used in cooling oil is used in cooling um, so we are able to make significant uh, conservation there as well so this is a very big also, uh, delivery from ACMA I must say. You know, also to add to that uh, what we've been able to do in ACMA is also align with uh, institutes like IIT yeah We've had uh, a line with IIT in Sonipath and now also with IIT in Bombay. And I feel that these are again opportunities for academia and industry to come together. Right. Something that's very need of the hour given the disruption in the industry. So while we're looking at electric vehicles and we look at technologies from product and processes, we'll also be looking at things like sustainability and solutions on how we can you know, uh, improve on sustainability, etc. Uh, in the future because it all becomes part of the environment.